As we are fast approaching the summer break for the Formula 1 season, the talks and speculations for the driver contracts and lineups for the next season is heating up. But out of all the speculation, the one that makes the most sense is Hamilton and Russell for 2022. After Russell showed what he can do with the Mercedes at the Sakhir Grand Prix last year, we have all been eagerly waiting for the time when he is in a Mercedes as a full-time driver. But if this pairing happens for next year, will we be in for the best teammate rivalry since Hamilton and Rosberg? Before we go further, I wanted to say a quick thing. The analytics show that over 90% of you viewers of this channel are not subscribed to it yet. If you like my content, then a like and subscribe would go a long way into helping me build more interesting content for you. Thank you and now back to the video. With over 70 years of Formula 1, we have seen a lot of teammate rivalries. The most famous one that comes to mind is Senna vs Prost. But recently, we have seen Hamilton vs Alonso and most recently, Hamilton vs Rosberg. As ugly as it gets on the track, it is ultimately great for the sport's popularity. Senna vs Prost in the late 80s really pulled the world's attention to a sport that had very few viewers and followers at the time. As great as it is that we have periods of dominations by the greats of the sport, the likes of Schumacher and Hamilton, it does not do any good to the popularity or the entertainment factor of the sport. Formula 1 gets entertaining when the greats find their match. In 2016, that was Rosberg. With Rosberg retiring just after winning the championship, there has been a lack of drama the sport desperately needs. As important as it is for the sport overall to have such rivalries, the teams tried their best to avoid it. And that is why the teams with the best performing cars do not want their drivers evenly matched. That is a recipe for disaster. In the least, it could lead to a toxic atmosphere within the team. In the most, it could lead to the drivers triggering each other and often coming together on tracks. And that brings to the current Mercedes lineup of Hamilton and Bottas, and what Mercedes plans to do in the future. The current lineup has been perfect for Mercedes for several years now. Mercedes for many years enjoyed the status of being miles ahead of the competition. But that is not the case anymore. They cannot afford to have a driver who is inconsistent in getting into podium positions. With the form Bottas is currently, it only makes sense that Mercedes starts exploring for options. And the clear choice here is Russell. With Williams being so far off the Mercedes pace, it is hard to give several points where we could compare Russell with Bottas and predict how he would perform in Mercedes. But if we can rely on what we saw in Sakhir Grand Prix last year with Russell overtaking Bottas at the restart, and Bottas and Russell coming together earlier this year, it is clear that Russell will definitely give Hamilton a run for his money next season, if he ends up in that second seat. We rarely see rivalries where drivers of two different generations fight it out for the championship. But the best example here would be Niki Lauda and Alan Prost from the early to mid 80s. We might just see such a rivalry unfold next year. Russell has been a wunderkind in the junior classes. He is clearly among the two best drivers of his generation and his name is mentioned in the same breath as Max Verstappen's. And it is almost certain that one day he will win the world championship. But how amazing would it be if he does that in a Mercedes, defeating the seven-time world champion 
at the eve of his career. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel if you like to watch similar content. And stay tuned to I am Formula for everything Formula 1. Until next time, take care and stay safe.